In the wheelchair industry, there's about 64,000 combinations of features that you can have on your wheelchair alone. In researching, our team tried to figure out how many of these were dedicated to the seating on the wheelchair and the comfort of the person in the wheelchair. However, we realized through our research that almost nothing looks into the comfort of these people in wheelchairs, which we find is such a shame because so many wheelchair users are in their, uh, in their wheelchairs for up to 20 hours a day. So basically what our seat does, it heats, cools, and massages the user. But at the same time, while we're addressing the comfort, we want to address their health too, because one of the biggest things for wheelchair users is bed sores. It's a very common ailment, and it costs like $54 million a year in the United States just for healthcare for bed sores. So along with all the other features I just mentioned, our seat uses alternating air pressure to relieve pressure that causes bed sores. As an event team, well, the experience has been very tough, but at the same time, it's very worthwhile and it's really fun because you learn so much stuff about one, building, two, about doing research that's actually relevant in the real world, like looking up competitive markets as well as other patents. And at the same time, you learn how to work together in a team. Well, a lot of the people on our team are actually from for, uh, FIRST Robotics. So we are used to building. However, we're given like all the materials we need for a radio and such like that from the FIRST organization. So for us to build something almost completely from scratch was like so much different from what we had ever done before. All of our electronics are completely different than what we've ever experienced. We've never built a wheelchair. Robots are completely different. So it was really fun to do something different, but at the same time, a lot of things didn't work the way we expected. So we learned a lot of lessons from that. I think the most important thing that I've learned is sometimes you have to learn to take a step back and just try not to put too much work on yourself and at the same time, you have to trust that your other team members will come through for you and they will do what you expect of them as long as you don't expect more than their capabilities. But I think as a team, we've really learned how to become innovative because that's something I don't think anyone can really just know from birth or from school. They have to really experience it hands on. Actually, a lot of the people from our school and other teams and clubs such as Key Club and Rotary Club, um, they interact with Staten Island Project Homefront, which is an organization that sends items over to the troops in Iraq. And it also keeps in contact with a lot of the veterans when they come home. And as you know, a lot of people who go and serve our country in Iraq, unfortunately, lose their limbs and they end up being in wheelchairs because of that. And we were thinking, well, these people serve us, it's time to give a little back. As well as there's a lot that personally touches the people from our team. Like someone who we worked with very closely, uh, a Mr. John Benedetto is in a wheelchair and he's like most of the people on our team. He wanted to go into engineering and he studied it and unfortunately he had an accident shortly afterwards that confined him to a wheelchair. And we're thinking it's such a shame that these people who can't really control their circumstances don't have anyone looking after their needs and their wants. I think we're most proud of actually getting the whole project done because at times we got really frustrated because things didn't work the way we wanted. We seemed like we were running out of time. It seems like sometimes people's schedules like uh, kept them from coming into work on anything. But in the end, we all pulled together. We put in the extra time, we put in the extra work, we worked together, and then we were finally like, let's go home and get sleep now, now that we finished. But in the end, we persevered, and we have a prototype. So we're all happy.